Well, can you believe it? The end of the year is almost here. So perhaps you're checking off the list of gifts that you want to give. How about checking off your eye care wellness? It is the end of the year, so it's a smart time to make sure you've taken advantage of your medical and wellness benefits. And just to give us a refresher and talk about how important it is, I am thrilled to welcome to our show, Doug Zarkin, Chief Marketing Officer for Pearl Vision. Welcome to the show, Doug, how are you? Thanks for having me, good morning. You know, I think so often people do tend to take eyesight for granted and think one of those things, like if I don't notice a problem, why do I need to get this checked out? But that couldn't be further from the truth as I'm learning from you today, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, look, we, we can do our best to stay healthy and stay fit, but you can't escape father time. <laughs> and unfortunately, around age 40, um, something called presbyopia hits, which is really the inability of the eye to adjust to distance. And so whether you need reading glasses or you need glasses for driving at night, unfortunately, around age 40, most adults have to get their eyes checked out of need. But importantly, it should be something that we want to do. Um, the most active muscles in the human body are actually in the eye, and they're flexing 100,000 times a day. So imagine driving your car 100,000 times, 100,000 miles a year, and not taking it to the mechanic to get checked out. It, it's a recipe for disaster. It's the same thing when it comes to your eye. Get that annual eye exam as part of your you know, every year health and wellness regimen. Well, Doug, you brought up people who are over 40 and starting to kind of focus then. Let's talk younger, if you will. I'm a parent. I have a toddler here in the house. When do you need to start worrying about your child's eyes? And, and I know school age, you sometimes think of eye exams, but what do parents need to keep in mind? So as a parent myself, in, in talking to the thousands of doctors that are part of the Pearl Vision family, I was shocked to learn that one out of every four school age kids has an undiagnosed vision issue. And if you think about it, a four or five, a six-year-old doesn't necessarily know what seeing clearly is. So a teacher may think that it's attention deficit disorder. They may think it's a learning disability. In reality, it could just be a child's inability to see the board or read the textbook. And so doctors recommend beginning at age five and every two years thereafter getting a comprehensive eye exam. Again, if you think about it, unlocking a child's possibilities really starts with them being able to see clearly. So, Doug, you and I were talking about working from home, and I don't know, I'm assuming you spend just as much time, if not more, staring into a computer screen as we're doing now. I tried yeah. to be smart and did like the blue blocker glasses to see if that helps, because I'm noticing a difference with, with the lights, because COVID has impacted how we live. What are some things that you want people to know about when it comes to COVID and how our lives have adjusted? I'm sure there's an impact on our eyes. Yeah, huge. You know, blue light is, is um, something that occurs in nature from the sun, but it's also mm -hmm. something that occurs from staring at a digital device like you and I are doing right now. And it could affect a lot of things. It could lead to headaches. It could lead to affecting your sleep cycle. But there's an easy way around it, and that's what we call the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes you're on a digital device, look 20 feet away for 20 seconds to give those muscles in the eye a chance to relax. That's not gonna necessarily prevent digital eye strain, um, and certainly blue light lenses are something to look into, but it absolutely will help reduce the impact of living in this blue light world that we're, that we're unfortunately forced to live in right now. So I need to look away. I'll start doing the show like that. How's look that? away, that's right. Every 20 minutes, look away. You know? yep. and, and Doug, of course, though, sometimes people with the impact of COVID, people have been affected financially. They've been affected with their benefits. How yeah. have, has Pearl Vision stepped up and really made sure that eye care is still something that people can afford? Are there any things that people need to know about there if they're like, hey, that's one thing right now that's just not happening for me financially? Yeah, so, you know, since 1961, Pearl Vision has been caring about our neighbors. And so for a limited time, what we're offering is to cover the cost of your insurance copay or your annual exam and apply that cost towards a complete pair of glasses. So if you're coming in for a comprehensive eye exam, that's the first step. Inevitably, you're, you're likely going to need, you know, corrective eyewear. And so what we do is we take that cost for your eye exam. We're going to cover that and transfer that as a savings on your complete pair purchase. So we want to make sure that eye care is accessible for everybody, whether they have managed vision care and can't afford the copay, or they don't have insurance and they want to just make sure their eyes are healthy. This is something that we're really proud to bring to the neighborhoods um, that we own and operate our eye care centers in. And Doug, to be honest with you, I'm proud to include this message here on our show because this is such important information to get out today. So in closing, what is the best way for people to schedule their Pearl Vision appointments and get their foot in the door, get those eye exams? Of course, the end of the year, the perfect time to do it. 
Yeah, absolutely. It's really simple. You can do it from one of your digital devices. Go on to ProVision.com, enter in your zip code, find your neighborhood eye care center, and you can actually schedule an exam right through uh, our website. Doug, it was a pleasure talking with you today. Again, such important information to get out there, and I'm glad we were able to do so. Take care, okay? Thanks. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Stay safe.